Hello, my name is Dr. Barry Taff. I'm a parapsychologist who's worked in the field for the last 45 years. Started working at a UCLA's old lab back in 1969, stayed there through 1978 when the lab closed. I hung on for two more years privately, and that was the end of it. In, the, in those 45 years of work, I've investigated more than 4,000 cases of hauntings and poltergeists and apparitions and things that go bump in the night. Most of the time, you go out, interview the people, you come home, and that's it. Nothing happens. The probability of you encountering something when you're actually out investigating a case is like winning the lottery at the half billion dollar level every time you play. But every once in a while, you're in the right place at the right time and something happens. One of those cases was the Entity case, 1974, Culver City, California. There was the book, there was the movie, whatever. It's an old case, 40 years ago. And the other case that really got a lot of note for the public was the case of San Pedro with Jackie Hernandez. And the case was extraordinary in every respect because it helped us clarify. Okay, the case was extraordinary in many respects, but in one particular, because it helped us clarify information we didn't well understand. Not just the ghost, not just the haunting. It's a very complicated poltergeist case. The phenomena began when Jackie moved into her little house on 11th Street in San Pedro. She was frightened to call us, worried that we, she, she was worried that we would think she was insane. She finally spoke with us August 1989. Barry Conrad, I, and Jeff Wheatcraft went out to meet her. And the, this, the case became legend. But more than that is what we learned from it. What the public isn't aware of and was not in Barry Conrad's book or his videos was that as Jackie moved away, the phenomena followed her. That is in his book and his videos. But what's not in there is that phenomena keep, what's not in there is that long after Jackie left her location on 11th Street, phenomena kept happening there, independent of Jackie. She was hundreds of miles away up in Bakersfield. And new tenants who knew nothing about her or about the case began having experiences similar, although not identical to her. But meanwhile, phenomena was still happening around Jackie. And then Jackie was visiting Barry Conrad's old apartment in Studio City. And then upon leaving there, phenomena broke out there and thought, what in the world's going on? And what we learned is amazing. It's the story that myths and legends are made out of. Why the phenomena started occurring in Barry's apartment in Studio City. He, he got involved in a little romance, nothing wrong with that, they're both adults. But Barry was using her a little bit and she got angry. And the phenomena broke out, there things flying around, windows exploding, Jeff being picked up, thrown on the wall, bullets appearing on the table, um, the burners coming on, on their own, uh, scissors coming through a pillow, almost cutting Barry's face off. Psychokinetic manifestation of J uh, Jackie Hernandez's anger, her frustration, her anxiety. And this was all captured in a great script written by Eric Ramos. I mean, he adhered to the detail as much as he could. This story could have been easily a six-hour miniseries because there's so much detail and depth, but he captured it in a very incredible way that's compelling, informative, and downright terrifying. And I don't think I've ever seen a script on the subject matter written as well, except perhaps by the now deceased Richard Matheson from Legend of Hell House and the man who wrote The Original Haunting in 19, came out in 1963. Those are the movies that have stood the test of time. Eric's script is extraordinary and it deserves to be made into a film and hopefully it will be. Hi, my name is Jackie Hernandez and I'm from San Pedro, California. There's a time in my life from 1989 to 1993 when my children were very young that our lives were engulfed by a paranormal phenomena. In the history of paranormal research, there have been a small handful of cases where the phenomenon has attacked the researchers. It even followed them to their homes. I myself had moved three times and the phenomenon followed me each time. My case is now known as the San Pedro Haunting and a screenplay has been written uh, about my horrible ordeal. I have read it and it is very honest and truthful telling of my story. Till this day, society 
thinks that my case was fabricated. I can assure you that nothing was made up. My story is true and there were multiple witnesses. I hope that one day a studio will take notice of the screenplay written by Eric Ramos. His mission was to tell my story in a truthful, honest way and he did just that.